Hi, today I will introduce you to Origin Pro 8, which is a data analysis software that is commonly used to produce publication quality graphs and figures in sciences. This software offers an easy to use interface for beginner users and the ability to customize the analysis and graphing tasks using themes, templates, programming and more for advanced users. I will be talking about Origin Pro 8 and a basic user level. The aim of this tutorial is to provide an introduction to Origin Pro 8 as well as teach you basic skills on how to create a figure, use fitting functions, and produce a publication quality figure. So, let's begin. This is the user interface that appears straight away after opening the program. Here you can see a workbook in which data is going to be input and can be analyzed later. By default, two columns are created. The X and the Y that is noted next to the name of the column corresponds to how the data in that column is going to be represented in one plot. To explain this in a bit more detail, let us do a quick exercise by creating a simple linear graph. We need to input the data to the columns, which will, provides, uh, which will provide the basis for the plot. So, let's just do manually first of all, an x-axis, so it's great for 1 to 10. And 10, okay. Um, this is not a very time efficient way to do it, obviously for data sets larger than 10. So what you can do in origin is to fill in, okay, sorry, there's a little piece here. What you can do in origin is you can fill the column with row numbers, okay? So you do that by selecting the column, right click, for the column width and row numbers. And this allocates a, a value that corresponds to the row number for the whole column. This can be very useful, especially when you have larger than thousands and thousands of numbers on Y axis and you just need an access to do so. However, sometimes you might want your x-axis not to be in increments of form, but larger or smaller, it's up to you. To do so, you can select the column, right-click, and set column values. A set values window will appear, which says that column A on the left-hand side of the equation is equal to whatever you input on the right-hand side. So, for example, our mathematical operator here will say that we want our column A values to be multiplied by 5. So, to do so, let column a times 5. Click apply, apply the changes. And here you can see that the values on our uh, column has changed from, from 1 to 3 to 5 to 15. You can do more advanced mathematical operations here, and a lot of the functions can be accessed at the fx tab here. But we will not go into much more detail now. Please feel free to, to explore if you don't mind. Click OK to close the window. Now we have learned how to input the data. Let us uh, plot it. We will need y-axis data points for this. So let us fill in the y the column the same as x, which is row numbers. So right click, fill column width, and row numbers. Okay. Now there are two ways of plotting the data. First of all, you can select both columns, go in the plot tab here at the top, and select uh, one of the types you want your data to be represented in, uh, such as line, symbol, CD, etc., depending on the data point. However, an easier and a quicker way is to select both columns, right-click on them, and a plot function will appear here. This is usually much quicker than going at the top. So, let's select symbol and scatter. And a new window will appear containing our graph. So, here we produce the first graph. Now, let's do some basic manipulations on it. Okay, let's zoom in on the graph. Um, so first of all, let us make it uh, that it starts at zero rather than at negative value. To access this, you double click on the x-axis, and an x-axis window will appear. Here you can adjust the, the font, the size, the range, the tick values, anything you might want from an x-axis. However, we, we are interested in the range. So let's go to the scale tab here, and you can see now our range starts from minus 10 up to 180. Increments are at 20. And also in this tab, you can select uh, what type your data, the, what your axis to be. So whether it's linear, whether it's uh, logarithmic, etc. So we don't need to change that at the moment. So let us change our uh, origin from 10 to 0. Click apply to apply the changes and let's close the window. As you can see, our x axis now is starting at 0. Let us perform exactly the same on y axis. So double click on the axis. Scale tab and change from minus to the half to zero. Apply and OK. 
It is important to mention that the changes you make on the graph do not alter the data in your notebook. However, as we can see, as we will see later, analysis operations performed on the graph will create new tabs in the workbook with the data corresponding to analysis performed. Now, let us manipulate the way the data is shown. Double click on the data points here on the graph and a plot details window will appear. On the left hand side is the reference to where the data is coming from to the graph. So in our workbook one, first sheet, and column A and column B plotted. On the right hand side here, you can select uh, how you want the data to be represented. So what symbols it uses, what size the font is used, what color, etc. In the top drop down menu here, you can select the shapes you want to use, etc. If you want to construct your own custom design for the way they use, well, which is not usually recommended because the symbols and shapes here are more than enough, you can go to show construct and you can use the uh, tools here. Anyhow, so as an ex exercise, let's make our data to be shown as a triangle, which is red, and as let's see, size of 15. So to do so, we find a drop down menu here, select the triangle, select our symbol color to red, and our size to be 15. Click apply to apply the changes, and OK to close the window. Here, our data now is shown as red triangles. OK. After we learned how to plot and manipulate our graph, let us fit the data here. To do so, you select the data points on your data figure, and go to Analysis tab here, Fitting. And here you can select one of the different methods you want to fit the data, whether it's linear, polynomial, curve, exponential, etc. Since this is a linear uh, relationship here, so let's just go linear and open dialog. A fit linear window will appear that allows you to do uh, some changes on it. However, we do not need to uh, make any alterations to the default setting. So let's just click OK to fit the data. Okay, a window might come up asking you whether you want to uh, report it. Click OK, and here we go. So our data now is fitted, and as you can see on your graph here, the purple arrows show the range at which the data was fitted. A small table created shows the main uh, parameters that are extracted from the fit. In this case, the linear fit is the intercept and the slope. However, if you go back to our workbook, where the original data was in sheet one, as you can see, two new tabs are created, fit linear one and fit linear curves one. And fit linear one is the summary of, of the fitting parameters, so such as intercept and slope as in the post table, but also more advanced, such as statistics, summary, uh, et cetera. The fit linear curves one, contains the raw data from your fit. So for example, if you would want to do mathematical operations on your fit, such as take a derivative, you would find the uh, data that would, you would want to plot it right here. And the first part of the tutorial. And here, as you can see, our data is pretty, fitted pretty well with the Gaussian. And this table contains the main information of your industry, such as our height, the position, and the sigma as well. 